Hello and welcome to another one of our online permitting systems how-to videos. In this video we're going to see how to create an account to access the online permitting system. While you do not need an account to see most of the information such as plan statuses and pay invoices, it is required to have an account to be able to apply for a building permit online as well as schedule an inspections. So to start, you're going to go to our online permitting system, which you can see in one of our previous videos of how to get there. Once you're there, in this top right corner where it says guest, you're going to select the to lower and click register. You'll see that it asks for an email address. The email address you put in here will be the email address at which all communications will be sent through, so make sure it is a valid email address and one that is regularly checked. For this demonstration, I have created an email address, CSS. E -M -O. When you click next, what it will do is it will send an email to that address so it can verify that it is you trying to create this account. You'll see that come in, you'll select that email, and there'll be a conf confirmation link in that email that you are going to select. Once it does that, it's going to bring you back into the system to complete the registration. Now, once you click the link, it's going to take you to this screen here and where it will, ver it will search our system to see if it actually finds a match for that email address at any existing contacts in our system. If it finds a match, it will actually bring that contact in here where you'll be able to actually add yourself as that contact. If you do not have a contact currently in the system, there is no problem. You'll just be able to enter all your information in and create a new one at that time. To do so, we're going to have to create a username. And then we're going to create a password. Now, the password has, does have a requirement where it must be at least eight characters long. It must contain one capital letter and it must contain a number as well as a special character. Once you have that in place, you're going to click the capture code to verify there is not a robot. And then we're going to continue. It's going to bring up the uh, first last name it has in the system, verify that information, and then it's going to actually ask for address information. If there is none in there, then you're going to have to fill this out. Now this dashboard is a feature that is only available once you have logged in because this will bring together all the information related specifically to your contact. As you can see in this contact, I have one pending permit with one, you know, one being active. I have all my plan cases. Then remember plan cases are actually app permit applications. Now when you apply for a permit and you want to review comments or look at any corrections or anything of, or upload any new documents, you're going to have to do that through the My Plan section. You'll have any inspections that are scheduled as well as any outstanding fees. To view any and all permits associated with it, if you just click this little button here that says My Plans, it'll bring up all the listed plans you have. And then as you see over here, it'll actually tell you their current status. On this first one, you'll notice I have some re failed reviews. And on this one, it's actually asking me to resubmit a file. And we'll cover that in another walkthrough at a later time. And those are the steps to create an account through our online system. We have other videos on online to show you how to do other items, such as apply for plans, view corrections, schedule inspections, and pay invoices. Thank you for choosing the city of Hando Beach, and have a wonderful day.